Today I'm going to show you how to make power-ups in your rooms. This can be used to give people a temporary speed boost, flying, super jumping, and even partial invisibility. First you want to get whatever item it is the players need to collect for their power-up, and today we're just going to use this little eddy model. Then you want to configure your object, make sure that you have modify with circuits on. Once you get it set up to wherever you want it to be, you want to get a trigger volume. Make sure the trigger volume is big enough to encase the whole power up, or if your item is set to decoration, you can actually put it inside as well. Now you want to configure the trigger zone and give it some tag that you'll remember. Today, we'll just call it eddy power. Next up, you want to get something to attach these two together. I'm going to use a CV2 piston. You're going to want to wire the body of it, this lower part, to the trigger volume and the little gold rod pin or whatever you call this, you're gonna attach that to whatever your power up shape is. For us, it's Eddie. You might have to end up getting really close to it, but make sure that your little shape is highlighted when you let go of the wire. So now you can see whenever I move the trigger volume, everything comes along with it. Last thing you wanna do before we're done with this configure, the circuit board, detach from object. Then we'll just move it wherever we're gonna do our circuits at. Now that we've got our circuits over here, first thing that we wanna do is determine kind of what we want. For this example, I'm just gonna give the player super jumping once they hit the power up. So for that, you're gonna wanna make a new roll, which is a roll chip. Once you've got your roll chip, you wanna configure that roll chip, give it some name that you like. We'll just call it power jump. Then you want to hit edit roll. So once you hit edit roll, one of two different things is gonna pop up. The first thing could be that this menu pops up here, or the second thing could be that a maker pin pops up in front of you. If that happens, just grab the maker pin and this menu will pop up. Now, this is where you will choose what this roll can do, what the people who grab the power up can do. For instance, if you wanted them to get flying, you could put it there. Let's say if you wanted them to like hear everybody, you know, you could change that. If you wanna make them partially invisible, you can hit hide player's avatar. I only say partially because like when you do it, it's invisible until you get close to them. There's a lot more advanced things you can do with tags, but we won't cover that here. Let's see, you can increase their walk speed. Like I said, we are going to give them super jumping. So let's pull that over there. You, know, you can increase the speed that they run at. These two here can get pushed and can ram. If you check can ram and like the person who gets the power up can ram somebody, that only works as long as all of the other people have can be pushed. So when the player touches the power up, we need a couple things to happen. Number one, we need to transport the power up somewhere out of the map so that nobody else can get to it until after a certain amount of time and then it spawns back in its original spot. We also need the player that hits the power up to gain the roll that we just made back here. And then after that certain amount of time, remove that roll from it. So to start off, we wanna add the roll to the player that touched the power up. But because we're going to remove that roll later on, we actually have to capture them as a player variable. We're gonna hook player entered to the execution. We're gonna hook the player to the player. Next, we want to add the roll to them. So we're gonna get a player add roll. Go ahead and hook the execution to it and then hook the player up to the target. Then we are going to configure or wire the string here. Bring up this menu and just type in the roll that we've got down there, power jump. Now we need to teleport the power up away out of the map and we're gonna use a set position chip for this. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the execution. Then the target, the target is gonna be the trigger zone over there. And remember we gave the tag of eddy power to the trigger volume, so that's the one that we need. So we're gonna use a rec room object to get first with tag. We're going to configure or wire the string on it to be eddy power. Then we're gonna hook it up to the target. So for the position that you want it to be teleported to, we're gonna use a vector create. Go ahead and wire the vector up to the position. Now I know that just on this map, that if I go 0, 10, 0, that it's gonna be outside of the map. So that's what I'm gonna use. You're gonna to have to experiment and find the right position that'll work for whatever map you've made. Next, we need to determine how long the power up lasts. I'm gonna have the power up lasting 10 seconds. So for that, we need a delay chip. Go ahead and hook up the executable here and either wire or configure the number to be however many seconds you want it to be. We're just gonna do 10. So after the delay, you need a player remove roll. Okay, then you're gonna hook up the execution from the after delay 
to the player remove role. Hook the target up to the player variable way back here, and then configure or change the string to match up with power jump over there. All right, then we wanna reset the position of the power up over there. And for that, we are just going to clone the set position chip. Go ahead and hook up the execution to that. Hook the target up to the, the first with tag. Now for the position, we're going to use a vector variable. Let's go ahead and hook that up to position. We're gonna have it automatically set the position of the power up when the room spawns in. And for that, we need an event receiver. We're going to configure the event receiver to be on room reset. Hook up the execution there. Actually, you know what? I kind of think maybe room loaded might be better on this. So let's do room loaded instead. We actually need a get position chip to actually get the position of the power up before the person grabs it. Go ahead and hook up the object first with tag and hook that up to position. To make sure that all these variables are the same for everybody, you're gonna have to sync them. So what we're gonna do is configure the player variable over there, go into chip settings, make it synced, and then we'll do the same thing for the vector variable over here. Okay, so now you can see I'm jumping normally, there's no power up, and then when I touch Eddie, he disappears and power jump. I don't know, 10 seconds, there you go. Hey, he's back. A question I get asked a lot is how did you learn circuits? Well, click here to learn exactly how I learned circuits. Use code RCO1, have a good day. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, what's up 9%? Thanks for making it this far in the video. Throw some popcorn emojis down in the comments so I know you were here. RCO man out.